Greenbrier shoots is actually one of my favorite foods to eat. So I'll snack on that and then we'll continue the video. Just the fresh shoots. You'll know if you have the uh, wrong part of the plant by the fact that it stabs you in the lip and you have a new lip piercing or something. It's been a great spring here on the homestead. We've got two new kittens. Our ducks are doing well. And as spring starts to transition into summer, this garden will hopefully do well. We're actually gonna go over two gardens in this video. For the most part, everything in the garden is looking good. We've got some carrots here, ground mustard, spinach, peppers, tomatoes. We've actually got a ton of tomatoes. All right, where are they? Yeah. Tomatoes are just coming up everywhere. You're not a tomato. <laughs> Tomatoes are just coming wherever, and we'll probably let them go as long as they don't choke out other plants, but you can never have too many tomato plants. Have a lot of different squash plants. Strawberries, and I didn't notice this, but down here is a strawberry that I'm going to be eating. And invading from out in the woods is this greenbrier plant. Greenbrier shoots is actually one of my favorite foods to eat. So I'll snack on that, and then we'll continue the video. Just the fresh shoots. You'll know if you have the uh, wrong part of the plant by the fact that it stabs you in the lip and you have a new lip piercing or something. Also have some peas starting to come up. And all this stuff that looks like grass, that's actually a garlic. Got quite a bit of garlic. Got transplanted, so some of it's doing good, some of it not so good. Got a bunch of cantaloupe that's starting to come up too. And potatoes. Never used bags before for anything, but it's something that I'm trying this year and I'm quite curious to see how it works out. A lot of people claim good success with it. This white wire on top is actually an electric wire for the electric fence and it's to help keep the deer out of here, which so far I would say that's definitely been working well. Garden is definitely looking uh, better than it ever has any other year before, which is kind of the way you want to do it. Oh, and corn. Almost forgot corn. Got corn. And have a cactus, too. Actually, two of them. I don't remember anything about it. I think they have a fruit or something, but, um, yeah. <laughs> it was given to me, and I planted it, and here it is. I'll do another update in the fall, but I've actually got one more garden to show you guys. This is a totally different type of garden. This is a permaculture garden, which basically means I don't have to plant things year after year. It's supposed to mostly take care of itself. Uh, listen, that's my fence post. <laughs> Goofball. In here, we've got wild onions planted everywhere. Some blackberries that were just put in this year. Some other plants that are in here just as nitrogen fixing plants to help the whole garden be a complete ecosystem. Hostas, which are a completely edible plant. You can either eat the shoots as they're coming up or you can actually eat the leaves as well. You can eat all of it, but those are the two parts I'm most interested in. Several daylilies, which my favorite part on them is the flower. It goes great in a uh, salad, and you can pretty much pick that every day. And raspberries. We're getting close, if not, if not completely ready. Not quite. It's still a little bit hard. Bunch more coming over there as well. This garden's pretty new, haven't really harvested anything out of here. It should be more and more year after year as it continues to grow and thrive and I'll eventually have to cut some paths through here and make sure there's no plants I don't want here invading, but so far so good. A permaculture garden is kind of an in-between of foraging and gardening. It's sort of um, kind of a controlled environment that you make and you just forage out of essentially without having to wander all over the property to find stuff. But I definitely do also walk into the woods and find all kinds of different things to eat because it's just growing there and ready for the picking. How can I not? 